In today's video, we're going to create a great little southern side dish buttermilk biscuits. Right here, seven ingredients. This is going to go perfect with our Thanksgiving Day dinner. Yes, it is, which is in about two days. Hey, tell you what, again, seven ingredients. Welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. So, hey, tell you what, let's take our seven ingredients, put them all together, roll them out right now. Let's take a look at our ingredients, seven ingredients. We've got all purpose flour. I got three cups here, got some reserve over here. We're going to use it uh, definitely a half a cup of that as we go along. We've got half and a, uh, one and a half cups of buttermilk. We've got right here, we've got some um, baking powder, some sugar. That's two and a quarter teaspoons each. Right here, we've got a quarter cup and a quarter cup. That's shortening. That's butter flavored shortening. Now, if you don't have butter flavored shortening, use cold butter, cube it up. Now, like I said, seven ingredients. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves started right now. We're going to come in. I'm going to come and I'm going to add my sugar, just like so. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to sprinkle our um, baking powder just like that. Now I'm going to come in. This is a, a nifty little creature here. I'm not sure if you know what one of these things are. Known as a pastry blender. Now I'm going to come in and I'm just going to mix all of our dry ingredients together. Here we go. I'm going to make some messes today. Definitely. I'm going to try to make them actually. So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to come in get those, uh, get everything kind of sort of dispersed throughout. We're going to come in with both of our shortenings, just like so, just like that and like that. And we're going to begin, um, called cutting, cutting in. We're going to come in with this little thing. And this one has a little, little serrated, uh, ridges on, on our little, um, pastry blender pieces right here. So we're going to come in and just slowly begin to incorporate the, uh, shortening into our uh, all-purpose flour. And what we're looking for, consistency-wise, is kind of like um, a little, little grainy after everything is incorporated in. It's going to take a little bit of time, not a lot. And we're just going to keep moving and, and pastry blending. <laughs> just like that. It's going to get, like I said, a little mealy, kind of, kind of, I wouldn't say... I guess you'd say, it, you know, the little pieces will come into about little pieces sizes of, of rice. See how we're starting to, to mix that in just like that? So we're just going to keep on going. All right, I tell you what, man, that thing is looking good. I don't know if you, you can really see this, but we've got some nice little, nice little pieces of our shortening that's starting to combine with our, um, with our all-purpose flour, our sugar, and our baking powder so i tell you what that looks pretty good and you know as you go through and use your pastry blender or if you don't have a pastry blender get a fork you can do the same thing you know that's pretty much is a real big fork isn't it now and again in the beginning when you're starting to incorporate that shortening into your dough you're going to probably have to come in here and knock some of that stuff uh some of the shortening uh the flour covered shortening uh down off of your um, fork or off of your pastry blender. But yeah, I tell you what, I think that's got it. Oh yeah, I think that's perfect. So, I do believe we're gonna retire our pastry blender, just like that, and get ready to add out, I don't know why I'm doing, look at that mess there. I don't know why I'm wiping my hands off because they're just gonna get messy here again in a second. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna add our buttermilk. Hence, buttermilk biscuits. <laughs> so, here we go. Let's get all that all that good buttermilk out of there. Just like so. And now we're going to combine everything just like this. Now come in here, be careful, because it'll get away from you if you start trying to trying to mix that thing real fast. It'll be everywhere. You don't want that. So here we go. Just like so. Yeah, I mean, I got myself a nice little mask going. Heck yeah. That, <laughs> this is a perfect little recipe for me because you kind of kind of expect to make a mess. Now we're going to try to get all of our ingredients, uh, I guess you could say, uh, nice and wet, and that's what we're looking for. So here we go, getting close. 
turn that over just like so come over here oh yeah <laughs> all right oh yeah by the way while we're doing this i meant to tell you this <laughs> before we got started get your oven preheated um for 500 degrees on bake now if you're using a convection oven which i'm using i've got it set for 475 so we want that oven to be nice and hot i mean 500 degrees is kind of warm to cook uh, biscuits, but I tell you what, nine minutes after we put them in, they can be nice and golden brown. So that's what we're looking for. Okay, I tell you what, I think this is pretty moist. I don't know, what do y'all think? Heck yeah, man, that thing looks good. It is ready for us to turn out on top of our counter and begin kneading and adding a little bit more of our flour so move you out of the way you know i'm gonna retire a couple of these get them out of the way just like so but i mean how about that we're almost we really are we're almost done with our buttermilk biscuits simple and easy so i'm gonna turn this out just like that oh yeah oh yeah see that, that looks good heck yeah so i am let me just move him over here for a second because i'm going to use that to clean up here in a minute so here we go i'm going to come in as that right there is a quarter cup. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna begin working and kneading our dough. And we wanna get that thing nice and, and smooth before we begin to rolling it out and cutting our biscuits with our biscuit cutter. So here we go, just like so. And you want to, you don't wanna overwork your dough. So we're gonna come in here and and knead this maybe 30 times. So, now I'm gonna come back in, I'm gonna get another quarter cup of our all-purpose flour, and we're gonna kinda of, sorta of get that thing incorporated into our main dough bowl. Okay. You know what, we're gonna add just a little bit more that's going to be, I mean, that was probably like a tablespoon. So I tell you what, we've got our half of uh, a, a cup of flour added back into this. And I tell you what, that is looking like a good dough. Heck yeah, man. Check that thing out. Yes, sir. Re. Tell you what, man. Let's see. Is that going to bounce back? Oh, yeah. Bounces back fairly nicely. So here we go. Now, I tell you what, I'm going to try to get all this little bit of mess into my dough so I don't have to have too much clean up, you know what I mean? So here we go. There it is. So what we want to do, now I'm going to come in and begin to roll this out just like so. Again, you know, this is, this is definitely not rocket science. Come in just like so. I'm going to come back and kind of rotate it around a little bit. And what we're looking for is about, I don't know, maybe three quarters of an inch maybe thick for for our uh, buttermilk biscuits just like so thinking that might be pretty good might be a little thinner but you know what it's gonna be just fine I can tell you that so you know what mr. towel out of the way we've got an ungreased cookie sheet I'm gonna come in and just start cutting our biscuits just like that oh yeah Voila. Now we're going to come in and put him here. Grab this guy. Put him right there. Okay. Yes, sir. And these probably could be a little thicker, but that's okay. They're still going to be good. Still going to be good. Heck yeah. Let's see. Like that. Okay. Voila. Just like that. Now, as you see, we do have a little bit of this leftover, so I'm going to come back and I'm going to easily, or, or yeah, I can say easily, kind of work this back into a single piece of dough. And now I'm going to come out and we're going to roll it out one more time. Just like this. How's that? Oh, yeah. Just like that. Okay, you in the way. Come back, get us a couple more. One, two, three. I think I can get four. How about that? Heck yeah. Voila. 
let's see here. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and keep this little guy. We're going to have a little baby biscuit. How's that? A little cubelet of biscuit goodness. So there we are. <laughs> I think we are. We're going to have to find a place to put him about right there. Voila. So how was that, man? One, two, three, four, five. We've got 15 biscuits. I'm just, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. We'll just leave that right there for a minute. But I tell you what, we're going to come in. I'm going to grab some melted butter. And we're going to top our biscuits. We're going to come in here and just do this right here. Oh, wow. That's going to give us a nice, nice look. Cannot wait to munch down on these things here in about 10 minutes. Just like that. Oh, man. Check that out. How about that? Yes, sir. Re. Yum, yum, yum coming up. Heck yeah. So here we go. We're going to put this in the oven nine minutes. I've got my uh, convection oven on at 475, a regular oven on bake at 500, and we're going to take a look at it in nine minutes. Nine minutes has elapsed. Our buttermilk biscuits, I do believe, are ready to come out. Yes, they are of the oven. Let's see what we got here. Come on, try not to burn myself. Whoa, about dropped them. That would have been a mess, wouldn't it? <laughs> Man, check those things out. That is, oh, wow, check them. Oh, they're not, oh, yes, nice and soft. Got, I don't know why sometimes they just, why does that one not look like that one? Anyway, I don't know. Usually what I like to do is come in here and we'll take them and we'll put them on, uh, on a wire rack so they can kind of cool down just a tad. Hey, there's a little... Our little uh, cube of goodness right there. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to just come in here and we drop these just like that. Man, how about that? Check it out, y'all. Man, whoop, got away from me. Let's see. But yeah, that is, that's awesome. That, oh man, these are going to be so good coming up here in a minute. And um, well, you know what? Why don't we go ahead? I'm going to go ahead and plate some of these up. I think they're, they're cool enough. They will be. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> there we go. So, you know what the heck? We're just going to come in here. I don't know. Add a few of them. Just like so. I don't want to make a, what, a, a pyramid of buttermilk deliciousness. Just like that. Okay, here. How's that? Man, that looks awesome. Oh, man. I tell you what. Cut those things open. Uh, you can use jelly or jam on top, whatever, what, whatever one of those uh, do for you. I'm, I'm more of a jelly guy. I'm not quite sure about jam. Anyway, <laughs> that's me. But truthfully, my favorite thing to do is take one of these. You know what? Give me this thing right here. We got, yeah, it's a serrated knife. I like to come in here, cut this guy open, and I bet I will use a tablespoon. Oh, man, that's, that's awesome. Check that out. A tablespoon on each side. And then put it back together and eat it up. Man, I tell you what. You know, speaking of tell you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Oh, man, that's nice. Nice and tender. Here we are. Check this thing out. Remember our um, <laughs> our butter that we topped it with? Just come in, man. Just get, oh, yes. Uh, now, that's, as long as the doctor says you can have cholesterol and, and, and good old dairy products. Let's see here. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> man. That is good. That's all I can tell you. Pardon me for talking and eating. But man, unbelievable. I hope y'all give this thing a shot, man. Oh man, he's just so good. I'll make your tongue slap your brains out. Hey, I tell you what, click that right there, subscribe to our channel down here. Another bread recipe, French baguettes. Neat, delicious. Give it a shot. Hey, I tell you what, until next time. Hey, please try these out and let me know how they turn out. Mine are good. I hope yours will too. But I tell you what, until next time, God bless, and we'll see you soon.